Hey friends, it's your Colorado sensation, Bryce. Welcome to my first ever video. And I know it might be shocking because new YouTubers are like, I'm shy. But you know what? This goes along with my video because I feel like as a new creator and my first video, we should get to know each other, you know? So let's do this. First things first, I'm going to go on with my e.l.f. concealer. This is the 16 Cameo Concealer. And if you didn't get that, slow the video down. I don't know what else to tell you. But it's a dupe of the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm actually pretty excited about this because it's Instead of spending like 26 bucks on a concealer, I only have to spend six. You know, this looks inspired by 4th of July because it's July 3rd right now, but it's about to be July 4th in a couple of hours. So I say, let's get on it. My face is already primed, so don't you worry. Acne is an issue, obviously. So first thing you should probably know about me is I'm very jumpy. Like, I can never stay on one conversation for too long. Like, my brain just moves so fast. And it's a good thing and a bad thing. But when I need to sit still for a little minute, just no. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a concealer brush and rough all of this out. <laughs> I look like I just got punched in the eye. We're just going to gently powder this eye because I don't want the concealer to move and since there's already eye primer my oils can't destroy it um but yeah so I've been doing makeup for about seven years now just playing around seven years playing around two years professionally like oh freelance which honestly let me just okay honestly let me get into this Freelance makeup is the equivalent to like going to the DMV. It's nice because you get paid a lot and some events you're like, oh yeah, I can't wait. It's kind of like kids at DMVs that just finally got their licenses. But on another point, it's also like a struggle. My clients now consist of teenagers because well, prom and senior photos and that's great. Do not get me wrong. Money, <laughs> give me it. But when I have to pay rent in the future, I'm just saying, what's going to happen to my Amazon addiction? I love going on Amazon and spending my money on like things that I don't need. Like I really don't need. Like just absolutely don't need. Like I literally ordered a Scooby-Doo t-shirt because I felt like it. But let's be honest, Scooby-Doo, like you can't debate with me. Scooby-Doo's an icon. Anyways. So next thing next, I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Eye Waterline Eyeliner. This is basically what it's going to do is set the base for the black eyeshadow that we got to put on because I'm not sure about you guys, but when I apply eyeshadow that's black, it doesn't stay. It just falls off and turns into this monkey gray color. Ugh, you know, like it's gross. Ew. No. What's the word? What is the word? You don't need to be... Detail. You, this doesn't need to be detailed. This doesn't need to be like, I need a perfect round crescent moon on my eye. It, you don't need it. Trust me. If you turn out looking like Jack Sparrow, honey, that is the goal. So now I'm going to go on with this e.l.f. Seabra. This helps blend out what we already did first. Uh, it's really hard to talk while doing your makeup. Like Bailey Sarian has the shit down. Speaking of Bailey, one of my favorite content creators, I introduced her to my mom, her makeup murder mystery Mondays. Best thing ever. If you haven't, go, go, go watch. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution X Alexis Stone makeup palette because they have blues, they have reds, grays and black. Like, ooh, all the colors we need. I'm having a difficult time right now. What I did with the blue, now I'm gonna do to the red. We're just gonna buff it out and we're gonna create some androgyny. Let's talk about why I started um, YouTube, okay? First things first, um, my mom was like, you should start a YouTube. You have a decent personality and people might like you. And I'm like, great. But now since I have like nothing interesting to tell you or anything of interest, like, I have two dogs. I have some fish. Ooh, that's another hobby. Um, 
I love saltwater fishes. I really do. I love being like, I'm a little mermaid. It is a cool fucking thing, okay? You get, I got to raise a couple clownfishes and I'm not sure any of you, but having clownfish in your living room is like fantastic. Anyways, I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette because this black is pigmented. <sighs> I'm finally talking normally, guys. Yay! So, you know where we put the black liner if you couldn't still see it? Um, we're just going to start packing this black on to give it extra pigment. So that way when you look at the lid, it is very, very, very black. But when we blend it and mix these reds and blacks together, it's just going to create a beautiful eye look. Okay, now I'm going in with like an e.l.f. blending brush because I use my drugstore brushes for like blacks and really dark colors because they're going to destroy, let's say like a white brush. It would destroy and murder this Jeffree Star X Morphe brush. But this, you don't care. It's already black. All I'm going to do is take some of this shadow and start blending it into the red. As my mind slowly dissipates, <laughs> I'm over here doing makeup and then decided to turn on a camera and realize, you know what? This might suck. This might be a thing. I have no clue. I'm not going to give up on it because this is going to be like my thing until the end of summer. And if I still feel like I should be doing it, then you know what? I'm just going to try to do even get better and better and better because that's all I can do. So as you can tell, a lot of fallout occurred. Okay. And this is why we didn't put foundation on. And you probably been asking that question because if I was to put foundation on and then put concealer on, this would have been a messed up look. Ooh, another thing about me. Okay, so my channel is also here for people that suffer with mental health issues because you're looking at someone that does. I've suffered with a lot of mental issues. I'm not going to get into the specifics. I'll do that if you guys want to, but I'm not going to get into the specifics about that because I just don't need to make your day suck. But anyways, if you do suffer from mental issues, I'm here. My channel's here. If you need some joy in your life, come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. And that doesn't mean like literal come, okay? No, no, like that just means like come, sit down, enjoy, okay? You get it, you get it? Good. Quick thing, everything I do and use will be down in the description because Nikki Tutorials does that, Bailey does that, a lot of other people do that. So I figured, you know what? I might as well help you guys out and just link shit down below. I'm going in with Juvia's Place Foundation in shade Vienna. If you don't like cakey products, I wouldn't suggest this one because it is a little cakey. Like, do you see that coverage? Like here, acne. So let me talk about some pet peeves. So I have the standard ones, you know, I don't like people that eat with their mouth open. Because here's my thinking. If you can't take the time to chew with your mouth closed, or hold your fork correctly. It's not like this, it's, you know, I just can only assume that you really just don't care about things in life and I can't, I can't. I'm someone that like deals with anxiety issues. So if it's not done like the way other people tell me to do it or a way I kind of like enjoy, <laughs> then it's like eh, wrong, no. No, wow. But I want to know what your pet peeves are. So leave that down below in the comments. Like, what are your favorite pet peeves? I need to know these things. Oh, crap. I didn't tell you this concealer. Anyways, let's get into it. This is the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer from Koki. So if you ever wanted to try the Max MAC Fix Plus, go ahead, do it. But I found a dupe. It's the e.l.f. Makeup Mist Setting Spray. Anyways, let's get back to the eyes. The eyes, we need to get this figured out. I'm gonna go in with this brush. It is the something, but it's just a, what I like to use. It, it's like an, perfect for the under eye, is what I'm saying. Just going back and forth, right next to the lash line. And this is highly important. 
because what this is gonna do is kind of connect the top lid to, see, look at me, I already look sexy, like sexy, okay, sexy, okay, you know? Now, going from like basically sketching it on like a pencil to blending it out, I'm gonna take some blue on it and some black, and all I'm gonna do is buff out the outer edge. So I'm gonna go back in with our NYX water liner that we primed the eyes for the eyeshadow with, and all we're gonna do is draw in this gorgeous black. See, I love this. This just gives us another layer of black. Like you can't ever have too much black. Okay, lashes. Warning, I have like a lot of lashes. I mean a lot, okay? I have ones from Amazon that I do my drag looks with. I have these ones. They suck. And then I have these bad boys. Oh, okay, let's get into this. So I'm not affiliated whatsoever with these people, but I recommend this. On Fleek Lash is a $20 subscription each month. And I can't even lie to you when me and my mom like started doing this. It's so amazing. Anyways, so I'm gonna use these ones that are savage. These are dramatic and full. And this is perfect for this eye look. I'm not sure about you guys, but I have the rare talent slash gift of putting eyelashes on just with my hands. Ooh, ooh, bitch. See, cause like, oh my God. I'm so good. <laughs> oh my God. Should I do a black lip or a neutral? I'm gonna do neutral. I feel like neutral. So friends, if you enjoyed this, I hope you did. I hope you learned a little more about me and I hope you little learned a little bit more about makeup. I'm so excited. I'll be here whenever I really feel like posting. It's gonna be random. I'm not to the level of like having a routine type situation. Ooh, you know, ooh, ooh, so gorgeous. Um, But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this like dark, grungy, dramatic eyeshadow look and besides that um bye